telekinesis has often been portrayed in science fiction. So we sat down with a Spartan neuroscientist to ask, what is science fiction and what is science fact? Believe it or not, for decades, scientists really were taking seriously the possibility that maybe telekinesis could be real, where they would have people try to see if they could affect the role of dice and things like that. One of the things that's really interesting about Stranger Things is because it's set in the 1980s, there really were still efforts by the Defense Department to see whether telekinesis is real. And so uh, when they portray uh, labs trying to investigate these ideas that seem pretty far out there, uh, that's pretty realistic. That really was happening. But, you know, in the end, it was all a disappointment. They really couldn't find any consistent evidence that telekinesis is real. So, as far as we know, the human brain is the most complicated machine in the universe. It consists of almost 100 billion nerve cells, all busy talking to each other, all making it possible to do all the wonderful things people do. Our research is particularly interested in understanding anxiety. Why is it animals are anxious at some times and not at others? And what is it about the brain that causes the animal to experience anxiety? And in science fiction, telekinesis is usually connected to some really strong emotion like anger or fear. And I think that connects to this experience we've all had when our emotions are especially strong. It almost feels like that the mind should be able to move objects like flipping a van over. 